So we're moving to a more of a proactive response rather than a reactive mm. response. And you're very true. You know, we get scanned 10 million <coughs> to 12 million times a day of people trying to get into our enterprise. And uh, so uh, every day is different, as you can imagine. And uh, so it's, it's, if something does happen, hypothetically, we containerize them right away as well too, to limit the, the damage, see what's happened, then we get in to see has any data been exfiltrated, uh, do the damage control, the privacy impact assessment, and then actually do the in-depth forensics as well too, just to see, okay, what was the root cause of that? Is it a problem with our engineering or is it uh, people, policies, or procedures, technology, and, and <coughs> uh, uh, that double check, lessons learned, and how to improve our architecture from based on that. So it's... Uh, it's, it's much more reactive and uh, proactive. And as well, we're trying to as well anticipate what's going to happen as well, too. Uh, we've created uh, cyber situational awareness, and this is something I'm promoting to the deputy ministers within the government as well, too. And then actually trying to map what's happening in the physical and geopolitical realm and what's happening in the cyber realm and actually uh, map those two together to be a little more predictive of what may be coming. Sometimes you'll know there's an attack, but the biggest issue is even with malware, okay, the malware's got in. As long as data's not going out, you're okay, right? But to just get that confirmation, data's not going out, that's huge. And that seems to be the biggest challenge with that, with part of that incident handling process. The other thing that we try to draw on, uh, interestingly enough, like all the banks compete with each other, but on security, we don't. Like there's a, there's a community of chief security architects that are out there and the view is a breach for any one bank is it affects the whole Canadian banking system. So there's a very tight community associated with that. And if something comes out to the market that is a you know one bank gets hit, like the you know the communication occurs pretty much uh, uh, instantly along with that. So that's the other thing that helps is you get bulked up in terms of a community of your other peers that are uh, that have chosen that this is not an area that we're trying to compete on. What we've always been concerned about is it's the inside threat. It's not the threat from the outside and we've oh, yeah. seen it yeah. you know with Ed Snowden and everybody else and so so the question really is how do you control your inside threat and, and we've talked about education and things but that that to me has always been the biggest challenge in, in, in how do you, these people that have these chief architects yeah. and technicians and everyone has amazing amount of ability to do amazing things and you know we trust them holistically but at some point something you know goes squirrely and they decide yeah. well, <laughs> they want to let everybody know what they've been working on and well, so that to me is, is a, a huge challenge. Yeah.